Hey guys, here is your full tour of 1930 Everglades Road in Navarre, Florida. They got the kids hanging outside for us so we can do a video tour today. Um, this is a Kugel built home. I'm pretty certain it's kind of similar to ours that we just sold in Gulf Breeze. We got a puppy on the front porch here. Nice landscaping in the front. Got some sago palms and some pindu palms over here on this side. Brick exterior, which is nice, maintenance free. Pretty much a little pressure wash in some areas every now and again. So coming in on the uh, right hand side, they have it as a sitting area. It's supposed to be the formal dining room. I mean, as you can see, it has a chandelier in. It has some uh, plant ledges and things like that, giving for um, an open feel in the house. So nice size formal on this side. Blinds throughout this home as well. Um, the carpet looks fairly new. It, uh, it's in pretty good shape. Doesn't appear to have any walk marks on it or anything like that. On the left, we have um, double French doors here. It's kind of set up for an office. It could be a fourth bedroom if you needed it for that. It does have a closet in this room as well. Coming sh straight through into the main living area here. It's a decent sized space. They have very large furniture in here. As you can see, they have a, a big sectional and we have a wood burning fireplace in here as well. We have a nice breakfast nook over here off the kitchen and into the kitchen we have a bar countertop with granite countertops. The cabinetry has been painted. Um, I think it was originally like a, uh, a tan color. They look just like ours in our old house. We have plant ledges up there in the living room as well. She's got some cute decor up there up top. Nice stainless steel appliances, gas cooktop, I think this is a, uh, is that a six burner? Yeah, it's like, well, it's like a five burner with the um, big middle burner in the middle. So they definitely upgraded the countertops and added a um, uh, subway tile backsplash in here as well. So nice open floor plan here. They do have a pantry as well. Uh, it's just behind this door right here into the laundry room that leads to the garage access right over here. So this is a split floor plan. We have the master on one side over here. Nice spacious master that looks onto the backyard with some tray ceilings. Into the master bathroom, we have a double vanity. Hey guys, see y'all soon. <laughs> um, no water closet in here, so the toilet is um, kind of open. We have a jetted tub and a walk-in shower. We actually, um, same kind of setup in our old house. Does need to be cleaned down there a little bit, but overall this house is in pretty good shape. Um, we actually brought our shower out to here and pulled out the fiberglass insert, and it's just amazing how much bigger the shower space seems. So anyway, just a little tidbit on that. But they have also uh, painted the cabinetry in here as well. They've done a nice blue shade just to kind of update it a little bit. Over here, we have a walk-in closet. It's a good size. They've got it split um, half and half here, as you can see. And on the other side of the house here, we have the two additional bedrooms and uh, additional bathroom as well. Nice little built-in over here. Yeah, this is definitely the same builder as our house. Very similar. So on the back side of the house here, we have our first bedroom. This one is definitely a good size in here. Um, you could get a king size bed in here if you wanted to. We had a king size bed in our old guest room. Into the middle bathroom, and there are two linen closets in this hall as well. 
Again, they have updated the um, the uh, cabinetry, the same color as the master. And then the shower here is uh, a fiberglass insert. It's in pretty good shape, as you can see. I know it's kind of hard sometimes to tell in these videos, but in your eyes and ears on the ground. Front bedroom here. A little bit smaller than the first one, but um, definitely get a queen, queen size in here with plenty of extra space. All right, now let me take you out into the backyard. Give you a peek at this. This is an awesome backyard. So I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, most of the lots in Holly by the Sea are like about a half acre. So you get a much uh, larger lot than uh, a lot of the communities and neighborhoods around here. We have some jasmine lining the fence over here that I can smell, it smells lovely. We have a nice covered lanai here with a yard building for extra storage. Of course, we have an in-ground swimming pool that's fully fenced. I wanted to give you a view of this um, covered lanai that they have there. They also have a double gate. If you were interested in getting a boat, you could pull your boat right back through there, through the gate. So huge lot here. The pool looks to be in good shape. If y'all are interested, we can get the age of the pool liner. They have some nice paver stones here. Um, let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> um, they have some nice rocks lining here, lining, bleh, lining the pool area. Sorry, I can't talk today. So really nice pool area here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to, um, <laughs> I hit the wrong button on here. Got some nice palms back there. Crepe myrtles just beyond that. So very spacious backyard, fully fenced. Uh, the back side of the fence looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. So it's not in the greatest shape, but it is functional. You can see there's some kind of black mold growing on it back here. Man, they've got the setup for the kids back here. Just wanted to walk back here and give you a little view of this fence. So it's not falling down, but it eventually need to be redone. You probably pressure wash it and stain it and preserve it a little bit longer. All right, guys, so uh, I think the other Heather said that you guys will be in maybe this weekend. I think is what she said um so let us know if you have any questions about this one and we will talk to you guys soon